Yo, it is good, yo. It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, I am going to be explaining to you guys how to get through each and every one of the Gauntlet Spotlight Sim challenges. Now, I will say these challenges are very hard. And when I say very hard, no, I mean they are the hardest of the hard. When 2K said, prove that you're the best tomorrow, they meant these challenges are not going to be easy. But trust me when I say they're not as hard as a bunch of people on Twitter, a bunch of people in the community are hyping them up to be. You will be able to get these challenges done, especially with the help of this video. Now, before we dive any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smashing that subscribe button as we are on the road to 70,000 subscribers. So it starts here, right? You go into the Gauntlet Spotlight Sims. And the first thing is for Alex Crusoe, there are no restrictions for this challenge. You have to win the game and record zero assists as a team. Now, the quarter length is five minutes. This is on Hall of Fame difficulty, so that's part of it. If you can't win a game on Hall of Fame difficulty, these challenges just are not worth you trying to get Taco Fall. I just focus on the individual player. But if you are trying to get this challenge done, what you need is five outs. So run the Hogs Freelance, pass screen away, and really just inbound the ball, chill there for a second, and then, and then you can get in whatever you want to do. You, you just got to make sure you never pass the ball outside of the inbound. That's what I would do. I mean, if you do pass the ball, you're going to have to take four or five dribbles just to make sure you don't get a fluky assist. And again, that's the big thing. You can win the game, record two, zero team assist, just run the Hawks freelance, pass and screen away, and get in that five out type of setting. The next thing is probably one of the most difficult challenges here for Chauncey Billups. You're up against Manu Boy, Yao Ming, and George Mirasan in triple threat. Now, not only do you have to win the game, you have to use two team blocks. And the worst part about it, or you have to get two team blocks. And the worst part about it is you have to do that with point guards only. So here's the tough part about it. You're in a triple threat. If I have to use point guards only, I'm running who? Luka Doncic and who else? Because Luka might get a fluky block. But who else would I run? Zion, it's just going to be tough. You're going to want to pick up some tall point guards. So maybe maybe you can get like an uh, the Ben Simmons uh, or a Ben Simmons card maybe. I don't know. You're going to have to use some tall point guards within this challenge if you want to get it done ron harper might not be an at bad option so maybe if i went with ron harper zion and luca i'd be able to get the challenge done but really what you're going to want to do is make sure you're going to want to stand out of bounds kind of at an angle make sure they cut to the rim and then try coming over and contesting the shot now i don't know how easy this challenge is going to be done if you want to go at the point guard position like if you have some taller point guards let's say Let's just say for the sake of this video, you have like a Giannis Antetokounmpo. You have a DeMarcus Cousins. The challenge is going to be easier. Grant Hill, right? You have those type of point guards. The challenge is definitely going to be easier compared to some of the smaller point guards in the game. It's not going to be an easy challenge to get done no matter what. But the taller point guards you have, the easier that challenge is going to be. So after that challenge, okay, we move on to the layup dunk and three challenge, which it says win the game and have each player on your team score one layup, one dunk, and one three-pointer. So you do the math, that's seven points per player, okay? So what I would do is I'd focus on one at a time. So for example, if I'm running Luka Doncic, Bull Bull, and let's say, I don't know, a random guy in, in, in uh, Danny Ferry, okay? I'm going to go with Luka Doncic first, get his layup, then get his dunk, and then get his three-pointer. Maybe dunk first, layup, so they don't get a weird animation. But after they do, then you move on to the next player. This challenge is not going to be super hard. going to be one of the easier challenges to do. But you got to kind of calculate it in your head after you get each player done. So after that challenge, there's no restrictions. You win, must win the game and record 11 dunks. This is probably the easiest challenge ever. You, It's a triple threat. So you just run pass and screen away. You burst to the rim if you are in current gen. Next gen, you can burst to the rim as well. The big thing here is if you don't get a dunk animation, you got to pass out of your shot to just keep things going. But every time you get a dunk animation you're in good shape 11 dunks in one triple threat game and you're looking at jason richardson so he's a he's a decent card right and an easy challenge to get done john collins here it is your lineup is restricted to centers only okay you must win the game and prevent your opponent from scoring a single point in the paint now you're up against john wall russ and derrick rose so my thing is normally when i sit back if i'm up against the guard they'll just shoot the moving three ball so that's already easy enough to get done if they just shoot that now if they don't right if they're trying to score in the point that paint then you're just gonna have to like sag off of them basically force them to shoot threes that's the best advice i can give you and meanwhile you're gonna have to score in the offensive end because again it is hall of fame difficulty but that challenge should not cause too many problems for you now this is probably one of the most uh, hardest challenges there is out there Okay, you must win the game without committing one foul to earn Rajon Rondo Dark Matter. Now, this is a five-minute uh, game, and so it's going to be like a domination-type game. So here's my thing, right? The square button on defense is off-limits. The triangle button on defense is off-limits. What I would really focus on trying to do, again, 
I know it's Hall of Fame difficulty, but you just got to try to force your opponent to shoot the ball a lot, right? Whether that's running a zone, that might be the best option, okay? Running a zone and just making them shoot from the outside and you're just going to have to outshoot them. Whatever it is, just don't allow them get in, to get in the paint with anybody guarding them. That's, that's what you got to make sure because if, if they get in the paint and somebody's guarding them, I mean, that you're always, you always have a chance for a foul. Okay, in a game like this, once you commit a foul, quit the game, okay? Save yourself some time so once you commit that first foul, just quit the game and move on. But that is definitely a tough challenge. I don't necessarily have the advice for you guys. I would just say maybe try a zone, try different stuff. Don't full court press, you know, don't hit the square button, don't do any of that. Here, there are no restrictions. You got five minutes in Hall of Fame. Win the game, score 40 points with a player, and do not allow a player on your team to play more than 10 minutes. So my thing is this. I think players should be able to play at least 10 minutes, just not over 10 minutes. So what you should be able to do is just run your starters for the first half and bench for the second half and score 40 points with a single player. Now, what I might do in this challenge, just to make sure that no player plays 10 minutes, right? You run a full 13, man. And once players get to nine minutes, you just start or you just start subbing them out, right? So once one player gets to nine minutes, you sub them out. Another player gets to nine minutes, who will replace them, you sub them out. Just to make sure that this works. That's something that I would focus on. But you should be able to just do it half and half. It's pretty going to be pretty easy to score 40 points and a half with a player. It's just going to make sure that you don't play a dude for 11 minutes. Because if you play somebody for 11 minutes or over a half, you might be, uh, you, it's just going to be rough for you. Because you're going to do that challenge and just waste some time. Next one here, no restrictions. Win the game and make 15 three-pointers with one player. It's pretty self-explanatory. I'll probably do it with Luka Doncic. Easy enough. 45 points. Score all 45, all threes with one player. Probably the easiest, one of the easiest challenges to get done. Here's a challenge. You must use original owner cards only and win the game. Now, here's the thing, okay? You need 13 original owner cards. Now, for me, I think I have those 13 original owner cards just because I grinded for Bill Russell. Now, it's going to be easy enough for you guys to get original owner cards like Look at all these cards that are original owners that I have. Like, I just have a ton of them just by stacked up playing the game. But if you don't have the 13 original owner cards, it might be might be rough for you because you're going to have to find a way to get original owner challenge players. But if you have original owner challenge or original owner cards, which most you guys should have plenty of them, all you have to do is win the game. That's literally all you have to do. It's going to be easy enough to get done. LaMarcus Aldridge, another one in triple threat. Using only centers, win the game and make seven three-pointers so easy to get done you go in there with bill russell bobo whoever else and all you got to do is win the game probably another one of these challenges that i've talked about and that are easy to get done some of these challenges are tough while others of them like this one is just a super super easy challenge this one here no restrictions you must win the game and record 11 steals with the player now i know on current gen it's going to be decently easy to get done you got to use small guards to make it happen and to get it to, to make it easy on yourself but 11 steals with one player is not going to be hard so for me what i would do is i would probably go in here maybe i'd play a guy like ron harper but more so i'd probably look for a smaller guard maybe that it, that can get their gravity or center of gravity maybe a little lower but i'd probably go in there with ron harper just because i know what defense he's working with and just it's not too it's not going to be too hard for you it's gonna, the steals are going to be easy maybe i go with luka Doncic. whatever the case is what i would do at the start of the game run a point guard and some a shooting guard that are both able to get that i always like to to, to get in man to man so you can get the steal quicker but after you get one or two steals with one player then you just got to go crazy on the bump steal so what i do is i don't full court press but i'll manually bring that player up and provide that extra resistance and just try to get bump steals on current gen again steals on current gen i think are easier than next gen so just part of the reasoning for doing this so this next one is win the game and score 37 points with a player in 17 or 12 minutes of gameplay or less what it is 12 minutes of gameplay or less is the full game so i what i would do honestly is i'd score 37 points within the first three quarters and then just bring in my bench because who knows if the player plays 12 minutes of gameplay it says 12 minutes or less so they should be able to play the whole game here but who knows with 2k i just probably score 37 in the first three quarters and then bench him but that challenge sounds super easy as well next the challenge for kevin McHale: there are no restrictions win the game and record at least 20 second chance points with a player this is it's a hard challenge because you got to do this while winning the game what i like to do is i like to send a tall center on a cut 
once they're past their defender all you got to do is is chuck it right or you can you can even run a pick and roll right and once they get that roll wide open it should be a free board technically then once they get that you just gotta go up shouldn't be too hard to get this challenge done the big thing is you gotta win the game on hall of fame while getting this done that's probably the hardest thing about it but i don't mind that kevin McHale challenge it's definitely not one of the harder challenges to get done this one in triple threat you got to make sure you or you do everything quick so allow your opponent to shoot the ball quickly you can't play defense really and you got to win the game in three minutes or less now basically every game when i'm sweating in triple threat will be three minutes or less got to get quick threes up got to green shots and just let your opponent shoot the ball right let them shoot the ball quickly sag off do whatever it takes all you got to do is really green your shots and you'll be fine that is on hall of fame difficulty which might make things more difficult no restriction for this challenge win the game where without attempting more than eight shots win the game by eight points or more so you can't attempt eight shots so you really got to utilize the three point line and if you're greening your shots it should be pretty easy to get done if you green let's say if you go seven of eight from three which is what i would try doing honestly uh you're gonna be just fine okay you just got to make sure you flood your opponent by eight or more and you'll be chilling on that one next up we got richard jefferson win the game using only gold player cards or lower to earn richard jefferson now I don't know what the uh, what the team is like that you face in here, but you have to use gold players, and that's in Hall of Fame difficulty in in, in unlimited or not in unlimited. I call it might as well call it unlimited with how sweaty it's gonna be. Big thing is you gotta have gold players. Like I don't even have that many gold players on my team, so you're gonna have to buy gold players. Which gold players, if you have them, are going to be juiced up in price today. So really, you gotta go crazy with gold players. Okay, yes, they're gonna be expensive today. We know this. But you got to make sure you lock in because this challenge is definitely not easy to get done. But at least all you got to do is win the game. That's all you have to do. But I don't know how that challenge is going to be. That might be tough, especially depending on who you come up against. So here's the challenge. Win the game and score 100 points with a player while recording zero three team pointers. Here's the one. Again, the Hawks freelance five out. It's going to be easy enough to get done. Whether you got Ben Simmons, Luka Doncic, whoever, as long as they can run to the rim, you're just fine okay you're just fine just make sure you don't accidentally shoot a three-pointer under any circumstance after this we do get the one for sean Marion. win the game and make 15 three-pointers as a team so the hard part is you can't just go brain dead all the time because you got to win the game too so maybe establishing a lead and then just going brain dead right you got to attack the rim fearlessly going through contact whatever the whatever the case might be but you got to make 15 th free throws within the game break it down that's four free throws a quarter shouldn't be too hard Free throws are sometimes hard, or fouls are sometimes hard to draw. So definitely not the easiest thing to get done. If all those fails, guys, keep the game close. And at the end of the game, the other team will foul you. So if you're having troubles with this challenge, just keep the game relatively close. At the end of the game, you're up three, five, seven points, whatever the case may be. The other team will foul you, get you some free, th free throws. This one, you do have to win the game by 68 points, but it's on pro difficulty, eight minutes long, eight minute quarters. So this one for a guy like me would be just a breeze. Next is this one for joe this is a tough one right here that's a tough one win the game and record at least 30 assists with the player without turning the ball over at once as a team so when i say this is tough because sometimes the the turnovers are just fluky right you can't always control that the big thing in this one is i try to slow the game down as much as possible you only need eight assists per quarter and the less possessions that you have within the game the better off you're gonna be now i don't know exactly how what the best thing for assist is I'll probably just run five. Uh, maybe I'll just run pick and pops and just try to make sure I do not turn the ball over. Don't throw lobs. Don't do anything silly like that. Just try to be secure with the ball. But 30 assists is a lot of assists. Just try to slow the game down. That's the best advice I can give you for that one. Next, we do get one for Peja. Win the game and make exactly seven three-pointers with a player while shooting 100% for three. Good thing is this is on all-star difficulty, so you might be able to wipe one or two shots and get by with it. I'll go out there with Luka Doncic. I should green at least five of the seven, and hopefully I get blessed. This one might take you a little bit, but just try to get the guy that you're the most comfortable shooting the ball with, and you'll be just fine. Next one for Sabonis is not an easy one. Win the game and record a 20-20-20 stat line with Sabonis. Or, or not with Sabonis, to earn Sabonis. Now, again, you might want to go points, rebounds, assist. If you're better at getting steals, you might want to consider getting steals. Rebounds aren't necessarily the most secure thing to get. Now, again, it is on Hall of Fame difficulty with five-minute quarters, so it's not going to be easy but if you could get a double double with james worthy in a triple threat online game i think you can get this challenge done you're just gonna have to shoot a lot of free boards and get assists with that same player good thing is it is a 20 minute long game getting nearly end here your lineup is restricted to ruby or only ruby or lower cards you must win the game and prevent an opposing player from scoring 10 points using ruby cards or lower again another game you're just going to want to slow the game down use all of the shot clock you can do whatever you want on offense 
but slow the game down limit the offensive possessions of your opponent and you're gonna have a better chance of winning and again if, if, if a player starts to get like six points okay on you you gotta send doubles make sure that guy does not score any more points where the case may be but the big thing is just slowing the game down this one for eddie curry when the game has scored 200 points as a team you got 24 minutes on rookie difficulty you can shoot anything on rookie difficulty it doesn't matter green white yellow if it's open it's gonna go in on current gen next gen it should be so easy to get green all you got to do is win the game and score 200 points that's an easy challenge to get done but just that it's all about speeding the game up right let your opponent shoot whatever they want yes they're gonna knock down shots but at that point who cares all you got to do is score 200 points the hardest challenge there is is this one right here win the game and record 17 blocks as a team to earn dark batter hooking now realistically this is three blocks a quarter so again offensively speed the game up chuck shots fastly it is on pro difficulty so you should be able to do that defensively you want to bait them to go to the paint so whether that's sitting with your center out of bounds and then bringing them in as the pass comes trying to get a block like that forcing the guards to the rim there's so many different ways to try to get blocks big thing just speed the game up make the game ag as as you know as many possessions as possible 17 blocks is not easy but fit your team for this right you're not going to want to run a guy let's say like a you're not going to want to run any player like Allen Iverson in this challenge. Run a tall point guard. Ben Simmons, even a Luka gives you a chance at that extra block. But yeah, this is going to be one of the most difficult challenges to get done. Again, again, just sit with your player just out of bounds with your center. You're going to have a decent chance to get some blocks. With the game by 20 points, okay, this is in triple threat on pro difficulty. So really, you can allow your opponent to get not even a bucket. You just got to absolutely flood your opponent. You got to win by 20 points. So max they can score what two points and then if you get to 23 right you're gonna win the game by 20 points uh but yeah you're just gonna have to get some bump steals lock them down i've done this before and just triple threat offline so it's just gonna be a challenge in which you really have to lock in for hardest challenge maybe that we'll see win the game and record 55 rebounds with one player the good thing is it's a 28 minute long game so you got to win the game and record 55 rebounds with one player so Put your, put your center and that's going to get you the most rebounds, okay? For me, I don't even know exactly who it would be. Maybe Gobert, okay? Maybe would, would be the best guy to play. Maybe it would be a Bull Bull, Bill Russell. I don't know. I'd have to... Probably Bill Russell is the, is the best guy. Uh, but you're going to have to take them in and just hope that you can be a snagger, right? Just snag some rebounds. Offense, you're going to have to get some offensive rebounds in this challenge as well. Don't think it's just going to be defense. One thing is nice, it is on all-star difficulty, so it shouldn't be too hard to win the game. Hall of Fame difficulty, 21 point triple threat game. Win the game by three points while allowing, win the game by three points while allowing your opponent to score 20 points. So here's the thing. The final score of this game has to be 23 to 20. Okay, that's that that's what the final score has to be, unless it's like 21 to 24, whatever the case may be. But try to get up 21 to 20, okay? I know it's gonna be hard, but try to make that happen. Again, otherwise you can tie the game, right? If you get it to 21 to 21, that might be the better option, right? But that's impossible. So get my suggestion is this: try to get the game to 20 to 20. Okay. If you can get the game 20 to 20, then all you got to do is knock down a three to win it. But just make sure you win exactly by a three and your opponent has to score 20 points. So try to get the game to 20 to 20. This might take you a few tries. It's not going to be the hardest challenge to get done. It just might take you a little bit. And again, once it gets to 20 to 20, you just got to knock down a three. It's not going to be the easiest challenge to get done, but I'm hearing people say, oh, just don't get Terry. Guys, it's not going to be that hard of a challenge to get done. It's just not. It's just going to take some time. Win the game and prevent your opponent from scoring any fast break points while limited, limiting to them to 40 points or less. Again, another game you just want to slow the pace down. Take 24 seconds to just shoot the ball. Try to not miss, okay? Because if you don't miss, then you're not going to allow any fast break points. Quite honestly, guys, run five out, get to the rim, and dunk the ball. That's all there is. If it looks like they have a chance on a fast break, foul them. Do not let them score any fast break points. And there is a stat for fast break points. So you can check that every quarter. And if they have any, you might as well quit the game. Last challenge is winning the game and making nine three-pointers with one player while shooting 100% from three and only attempting nine threes. This is on all-star difficulty in a five-minute game. So my thing is this. I'm getting these three-pointers out of the way. So I know if I have to restart the challenge or not. So all of my first nine shots are going to be from the three-point line with probably Luka Doncic. Okay. And then after I attempt nine, if I go nine for nine, you cannot shoot the ball from three anymore. If you take a three and you miss, it's over with. So pick a player that you want to go crazy with. Shoot nine three-pointers in that first quarter. If you miss one, that's fine. Restart the challenge. The moment you go nine of nine, it is on all-star difficulty. So it shouldn't be too hard. Then you just are done shooting threes. Slow the pace of the game down. Win the game. It's that simple.
So objectively, can most of these people in the game complete these each and every one of these challenges? The answer is no. But if you're watching this video wondering how to get a challenge done, none of these challenges are impossible for anybody in this game. So that's just one thing to think about. Hopefully this video can help you guys out, can build you some confidence to get through these challenges. I know a lot of people are mad right now. Me, I'm optimistic. I'm optimistic. I, I, I had high hopes for 2K and I like that it's one challenge per player. So if it's taking you two hours for one challenge, that's fine. Instead of grinding five challenges, you're just grinding one. But that is my personal opinion on this video. Again, in, in, a, in this type of a setting, right? If you need 17 blocks and you get zero blocks in the first quarter, quit the game, restart. 55 rebounds. If you get 10 or less rebounds in the first quarter, quit the game, regroup, try something different. And that's the best advice I can give to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know down below in the comments, guys. Drop a like on the video. Subscribe if you are new. Guys, good luck getting Taco Fall. Hope you guys have a blessed day, and I love each and every one of y'all.